table to take us through this mysterious process. We have MSNBC political analyst David Korn with Mother Jones and Genevieve Wood from the Heritage Foundation. So, well, Genevieve, let me just start with you because I, I look at the guest list for this. Um, it's an interesting, you know, Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio. Um, not sure Rubio is even going to run. Um, Ted Cruz. Mr. Government shutdown, and you know, Rand Paul is, is an interesting character, but it just raises the question to me in terms of uh, their ideology, how important is it to the Kochs to win in 2016? Well, I think it's, it is to many conservatives they want to win in 2016. I, I am fascinated with the fascination with the Kochs uh, because, I mean, they are, yes, they're a rich family. Uh, they have these gatherings where they invite other people with means to kind of come in and talk politics and invite candidates in. But that happens in forums all over the country. I mean, it was happening in Iowa this weekend. Just may not have as but much money in the could room, be, this forum could be worth tens of millions of dollars. Well, it's, it's, it's money. Of it, it's, it's, there are, there's a lot of money in the room, but it's not just that. Though, these are folks who are also activists and since they're active in groups they aren't people who just show up at dinner parties and want to give a lot of money well, have their picture well, made well, with well, the president well, they're well, active well, well, so well, this well, that matters but the people who come to the coke brothers retreats are not the people who go to cpac who are grassroots activists from their local communities these are for lack of a better term the plutocrats they come in and they're willing to give 10 million 50 million whatever it may be a lot of it goes to dark money groups so we don't actually know what they're funding and this happens on the left too mm -hmm. there's the democracy alliance and so they have an outsized influence that is not transparent we at mother jones have published guest lists of the Koch brothers meetings in the past and have gotten hands on some transcripts and tapes of, of sessions there. Well, what, so what, yeah, what, but what but a lot of these people so, do come no, to CPAC. No, a lot of these, these people don't. These some people, of them no, do. Some of them, many of them don't. They're behind the scenes. They're giving a lot of money that we don't know where it's going at, at all. And so they are, and it's, as I say, this, there are some liberal funders like this as well. But I think overall it perverts the democratic system because they have so much influence and you don't know who they are and what their agendas are. So therefore I think penetrating the veil, which we at Mother Jones and Politico and other people have done for years, is really important. And I think if the Koch brothers want freedom, 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 and they should just put their cards on the table and say how they're going about trying to get all this freedom they want and let us know where the money's going and what the interests are because you have the candidates the there with cup going, in hand. The money's going into a lot of political campaigns. It goes into political causes. I think most people can guess what they are. They're right of center type of efforts. These are folks who think we ought to have a more limited government, that government does too much. Uh, they think Obamacare was a bad idea. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I don't think their, their agenda is secret. That's that's why I don't well, get yeah, fascination. Well, let me, but so, okay, whatever we think of how they go about doing this and the exact level of influence here, we are talking about potentially serious money going to these campaigns. And we saw in 2012, you got one big donor behind you. You can keep a campaign afloat for months. You can keep <laughs> New Gingrich afloat. That's you can true. keep Rick Santorum afloat. That's that right. sort of thing. So I'm interested, from a pragmatic standpoint, yeah. where the people at this meeting are going well, to come down to this well, race. The, the, interesting, the most interesting one to me, David, is Mitt Romney not invited. Yeah, well, Mitt Romney's not invited. We had a story about the Jones talking about how some key people in the Koch Brother Network have said they don't want Mitt Romney. Why? Because they think he's a loser. They think, you know, we, they, 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 they have quotes out there saying, like, he's a crap candidate. They really don't want to. And the interesting thing is, back in 2012, the Koch brother network more or less sat out the primary. They spent that time funding anti-Obama ads and efforts and, and activists, but they didn't really get behind any candidate. This time around, they're really thinking about trying to seed the money early for one main candidate. And that could end up being Jeb, even though he wasn't there. I don't think that disqualifies him from this. I don't think we make a lot out of who was there and who wasn't there. But David Koch has been very, very uh, positive and upbeat on Chris Christie. He tried to get him in instead of Mitt Romney back in 2012. So they are trying to you know, use their influence well, earlier well, in, in, than they had in the past. In Genevieve, let me just ask you this then. What David's saying about the sort of antipathy toward Mitt Romney from the Kochs, mm -hmm. that sort of mirrors what we've been seeing from a lot of other voices in the Republican yeah. Party as Mitt Romney's flirted with this run. Do you think there, there is, this is building to a level that Romney might reconsider the, the moves he's made toward 2016? Well, I think he has to. I mean, you have to kind of look at the cards on the table and kind of see if you have a, if you have a yeah. winning hand, right? Uh, but, but I think, again, the fact that you have the variety of folks that you have at speaking at the Koch summit, uh, Rand Paul is not the exact same thing as Ted Cruz or Marco Rubio. 
Rubio. And the fact that, as you said, they may be willing to get behind a Jeb Bush at some point, I think it shows the Kochs and the, the groups that they support are much like a lot of other conservatives. They would like to win in 2016. Nobody knows yet who that's pers who that person right. or individual is going to be, but that's part of what the vetting process is. That's why you have people come in and speak. Right. No, that makes sense. Although I'm not thinking that Ted Cruz is the one who's going to do it for the